Hey all you furniture fans, it's me. It's Craig Kinzer with Craze Furniture and Antiques, C-R-A-Z-E Furniture.com. We, we did get some stuff rounded up over the weekend. Uh, this is Memorial Day right now. Just wanted to show you a quick preview because we're gonna be out snapping pictures and getting stuff posted. Uh, this is a pecan console table or cabinet. Got two drawers that, two doors that open. There's a shelf in there, pretty good condition. It's got a matching buffet. Look at this thing. Now, I mean, it's like cool just in pecan or pecan, but imagine this guy painted. This would be a ridiculous piece to do. I mean, look at it. It would be amazing. This is a game table, and this one's pretty unique because it's got this, um, the fourth leg swings out so that when you wanna flip the top up, Huh, there you go and you got your game table uh, a lot of those the tabletops will swivel around and this one's actually got the leg that goes with it and look at the mahogany isn't that nice American Drew cherry server it's on wheels it looks brand spanking new got your top drawer got the bottom drawer with a sh shelf uh, and this top piece folds out now if you've never had one of these they're awesome for cocktails um, because this is uh, is really durable so you know if you get the cup rings and stuff on that you can clean those off without having to do it on the wood um, also come in handy for Christmas and Thanksgiving when you have extra platters and food and stuff around um, comes in handy for a little extra space this is a pretty cool little cabinet now this guy is older than you might think but it's solid cherry um, this is a converted radio cabinet, and I know that because it's got uh, all the wiring instructions inside, but somebody did a little conversion and pulled out all the electronics, and um, you have this snazzy-looking cabinet, probably 40s or 50s, maybe a little bit earlier, um, but really nice piece. A pair of cherry side tables with drawers, kind of a candlelight stain, dovetailed super nice pieces they were in a formal living room so didn't see a whole lot of actual use this is a cool table cherry and a queen anne set the thing that makes it different is it as you notice does not have a split seam for a, an extension leaf so this is just one solid table so it, it doesn't uh, extend and there's four chairs with it this is the pecan double pedestal table that matches that server and the console cabinet that I showed you. But super cool pieces. There are eight chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two leaves. This thing gets enormous. I mean, the, the uh, upholstery is a little bit dated, but this would be a super duper cool piece to redo. We've got some art. Um, this is a Looks like a watercolors, uh, Hemingway House in Key West. I thought this was a really cool uh, piece. And then um, watercolor rooster, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, here, now pay attention to these because um, there's eight of them. They all match, they're all together. Upholstery uh, is a little worse for wear, so could probably use some updating, but you know, looks like maple maybe. Uh, that's probably walnut, um, but nice solid chairs. Just need a little TLC got a little uh, saber leg chair just picked up this one little accent piece looks like kind of like a pier one type of deal where it's kind of that faux suede uh, drop leaf table that's maple an old guy oak chair another accent chair this is a really cool little piece this is a humidor cabinet um, and these were like probably 20s maybe 30s but it's got the little copper cabinet down below where you'd put your cigars pretty cool huh now it doesn't smell like smoke or cigars and some of them have a real distinct smell that one does not um, and this is kind of a modern it's not kind of a modern it is a modern coffee table it's uh, designed to look old like it has old weathered wood but it's not that old uh, and here comes the creme de the resistance if I said that correctly um, so this is a corner cabinet by a company called Charik um, out of Boston, Massachusetts. It's got a date stamp of 1931 on the back of it. And when I tell you this piece is stunning, 
uh, I'm not doing it any justice. It's uh, solid mahogany in the inside. Let me see, I got the shelf clicked out. Um, it's got little grooves in the back so you can display your plates. Look at the mahogany. Look at that. I mean, it, it is an absolutely gorgeous piece of furniture. And um, the locking mechanisms both work. We do have the key for it. The little shell carving on the top. And again, there is a tag on this one, so I can prove everything that I just told you. Chark out of Boston, Massachusetts. If you haven't heard of them, they're a lot like Craftique. They did a lot of solid mahogany furniture, um, and it's super high quality stuff. It always is. Uh, and their craftsmanship is amazing. I've had a couple of high boys by them, and um, they actually used thicker wood than Craftique did. Um, but really, 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 really amazing piece. So those are some of our finds. Um, keep us in mind if you need furniture, we are filled to the brim. We've got 2,300 square feet that is just full of furniture right now. And uh, I just got the go ahead today for uh, two more households that I had bid last week. So we're getting both households on Thursday. So we'll have some more stuff. Oh, I missed a single bed. Hang on, hang on. So we got this maple bed and I do have the side rails and the support rails, you know, just kind of like an older, probably like 1950-ish kind of thing. But anyway, uh, if you have questions or want to schedule a time to come see us or uh, see any of this furniture or see it, uh, any of the other things that you see on the website, my phone number is on our website, crazefurniture.com, C-R-A-Z-E furniture.com.